I said there is one other way to uh, do GAN inversion, which is so GAN inversion via latent regression. can inversion via what is called as latent regression. So how do we do this? It's very similar to Vigan, but instead of uh, instead of explicitly solving the problem of inversion via minimization of the or uh, matching the joint distributions what would uh, latent regressor the gan inversion would with latent regressor would do is that it still has an encoder network because without that nothing can be done so we do have an encoder network here that would take uh, x so this would take x and gives directly regress z here okay z cat let's call this um, e phi of x cap it, it can take x cap so there is still the discriminator but the discriminator would just function as it is as in the case of a knife gan this is dw so now dw simply separates between x and uh, x cap as usual however there simply regress over the uh, input latent vector which is so just take z and try to reconstruct it back using the encoder network so now here z cap is simply equal to the output of the encoder network for a given x or an x cap now how do we do this so the loss function for this uh, so we will say latent regressor is simply the usual GAN loss which is log of uh, dw of uh, uh, x x coming from px and you have the second term as expectation of log of 1 minus dw of x cap where x cap comes from p theta so just add one more term here so sometimes some lambda times z minus z cap which is e phi of x cap just take the norm square between the difference of the input vector that has generated a particular uh, data point and this is expectation is over all generated data points. So this is one term that is simply added for the uh, GAN training okay where lambda is a hyperparameter. Hyperparameter that would tell you how to uh, weigh the particular losses. So this thing will also uh, this particular loss also has three components to it. So this has uh, theta the generator parameters the discriminator parameters and the regressor parameters and all three networks are now trained simultaneously so this is trained as the usual GAN and uh, take an x cap that is generated by a particular uh, z and pass it through the encoder and the encoder gradients are computed okay and here the difference between a bygan and a latent regressor is that in a bygan the discriminator is modified in the sense that instead of giving x and x cap as input the discriminator learns to discriminate between the tuples of uh, x one point from the uh, the data space the other point from the input latent space but in uh, the latent regressor uh, the discriminator of the gan is not modified a gan is trained just as uh, the knife GAN 
and but there is a there is an additional encoder network that is simply trying to regress upon the input latent vector uh, so why is it called a regressor because this encoder network is uh, effectively regressing over the input data points or input latent vectors so add a regression task or a regression cost to the naive gyan cost and try in the encoder so however it has been found out that uh, uh, modifying the discriminator and uh, solving uh, the joint jo solving for the joint distribution uh, yields a better yields in a better uh, inversion quality compared to that of uh, simple or naive regression okay so these are two techniques that are generally used for uh, gyan inversion there have been many other techniques that have been proposed in the literature but uh, in the interest of time i would just stop here and move on to the next application of uh, adversarial learning